Hello boys and girls and welcome to today's calendar, week number eight, I think. Let's get started because we have a lot to learn this week. Still, this month starts with an O. Do you even remember what it is? October. Well, yesterday was Sunday because it was, um, well, like a stay-at-home day. You didn't have to do any schoolwork. It was 18. Yesterday was 18. What's today? Did you say 19? Because you'd be right. Yesterday was Sunday, October 18. Today, right now, is Monday, October 19. Let's say that together, okay? Because if you go to 19 and look up, it's this day of the week. Monday. All right. Are you ready? Oh, are you sure? Okay. Today is Monday, October 19, 2020. Or 2020. What's tomorrow going to be? Yesterday already happened. Today is right now. Tomorrow's going to happen the next day. What's after 19? You better find out tomorrow with Ms. Morrison. All right. Let's count the 19 since we can see 19 numbers. Oh, are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's what tomorrow is going to be. That's what tomorrow is going to be. Okay, well, I was just outside and I needed a coat. It was a little chilly because fall weather is cooler. It's not summer anymore. And you know what we're getting close to on October 31st? Halloween. All right, now, we have three new letters this week. I'm going to go through them quickly. Uppercase, lowercase. What's that letter? It's a pirate's favorite letter. R. This is R. Uppercase, Lowercase. What's that letter? F. Yes, this is F. And the last one is a vowel. It looks like a circle and it looks like a zero. Do you know which one I'm talking about? Crown. Uppercase, lowercase. What's that letter? O. All right. Everybody say F. Oh, sorry. Everybody say R. Everybody say F. Everybody say O. Okay. R says R. R. You say R. Like, um, rake. Rabbit. R. R. F says When you say the F sound, you just kind of blow air out of your mouth. Everybody say it with me. F says like fork or fortress. O, you have to make your mouth look like an O. Make it look like a circle. Aw. O says aw. When you say O sound, you kind of use it back in the back of your mouth, like in your throat. Oh, everybody say, oh, O says, oh, like off or octopus. All right. Those were our letters. We don't have any sight words this week. We have some more color words we're learning about. We've learned a lot of them. 
So I don't know if you forget them though. Thumbs up if you remember your colors. Double thumbs up if you remember how to read your color words. Double thumbs up in the air if you know how to spell your color words. All right, I'm only going to go through a few right now, and I'm going to trick you because I'm not going to write them in that color. I'm going to write them all in black. Do you remember this color word? Starts with an R. 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 Red. Everybody read red. This one, I don't think anyone's going to remember this one. Definitely not Ava. I don't think Ava or Austin are going to remember this one. Oh, it starts with an O. Now, it doesn't say aw this time. It's just orange. Everybody read orange. Orange. Like the color orange and like the fruit orange. Okay, I'm thinking of another one. Definitely going to trick you here. Starts with a P. Not purple, nope. What does P say? Put your lips together. Pink. Pink. Everybody read pink. Alright, this one has a P too. What color is this? Oh. I've got the marker right there. What does P say? Put your lips together. Purple. Purple. Pink. Purple. See how they're different? P-I-N-K is pink. P-U-R-P-L-E is purple. All right, boys and girls. You know what? Maybe you can write some of your color words down as practice, but not yet. You have to do it after this. You have to do it after. All right, I'm going to erase all these. I hope you remember them. I hope you remember them. All right. Something brand new that we're learning this week in math. It's fun all the time. And me and Miss Morrissey, we have fun all the time here. I hope you're having fun. Do you know what that yellow thing is over there? Do you know what that is? What is this? It's not just any clock, it's an analog clock. Everybody say analog. Now an analog clock has hands that go around and tell you the time. A digital clock has the numbers that you see. Um, everybody say digital. A digital clock has the numbers like it has 8, 32, or 233. This, you have to learn how to read it because the long hand goes around and the short hand goes around too. The short hand tells you the hour, like 8 or 9 or 10. The long hand tells you the minute. Now, do you see the numbers around on the outside? Those are the minutes. So right now it's 5 and 10 and 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Now you don't go on because there's 60 minutes in an hour. Okay, so we have an analog clock. We have our long hand, which is the minute. Our short hand, which is the hour. I'm gonna move my long minute hand around. Do you know what time it is now? Well, look. The short hour hand is on what number? Two. So it's two o'clock. 
Whenever the minute hand is on the 12, that means a clock, like 2 o'clock. Let's go around. Oh, o'clock. What's the hour hand on? What number? 4. Yeah, so it's 4 o'clock. Hey, Mom, it's 4 o'clock. You better start making dinner, please. Let's go around. Oh, what time is it? Where's the hour hand pointing to? Five. Five o'clock, because the minute hand is on the 12. It's five o'clock. Let's go around. Ooh, what time is this? Eight o'clock. Now, when it's fall time outside, eight o'clock, it's starting to get dark out, so you better come inside. You better come inside because it's getting dark outside. You don't want to be outside after dark. All right. What time is it now? Nine o'clock. Hour hand's on the nine. The minute hand is on the twelve. Nine o'clock. You better brush your teeth and get ready for bed. And, hmm, what time could that be? Do you know what number one and a zero is? Ten. Ten o'clock. You better be in bed because you have to get up for school tomorrow. All right, boys and girls. Well, we're going to put our analog clock back. I have to be careful because it could fall over and break. We don't want that. I'm going to pull up a chair because it's almost time to go... I have a new song that we can only sing one, maybe two times, okay? It's about making friends. Thumbs up if you have a friend. Double thumbs up if you have a best friend. All right, listen to me sing this song because it's about making friends. And how do you make friends? How do you make friends? New friends. I might say, how do you do? Do you want to be my friend? And maybe they'll play with you. Okay, are you ready for this? If you want to make a friend, shake a hand. If you want to make a friend, shake a hand. If you want a friend that's new, then say, how do you do? If you want to make a friend, shake a hand. Don't forget the hand motions either, because you have to shake a hand, and you have to say, how do you do? Are you ready to sing it with me? This is it. This is two times. All right, sit up. If you want to make a friend, shake a hand. If you want to make a friend, shake a hand. Can't hear you. If you want a friend that's new, then say, how do you do? If you want to make a friend, shake a hand. All right, boys and girls, here's hoping you can make a new friend today. Mr. Wiseman saying, I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.